Peace be with you brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today Wednesday of the 8th week in ordinary time. Let's begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we open your holy word, we come before you with humble hearts seeking your guidance and wisdom. illuminate our minds with the light of your truth and fill our hearts with the warmth of your love may the holy spirit move within us opening our ears to hear your voice our minds to understand your message and our souls to embrace your teachings lord grant us the grace to not only read your word but to meditate upon it allowing it to transform our lives and bring us closer to you Help us to live according to your will and share your love and truth with others in our daily lives. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading from the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 1 to 7. At that time declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the clans of Israel and they shall be my people. This says the Lord The people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you and you shall be built, O virgin Israel. Again, you shall adorn yourself with tambourines and shall go forth in the dance of the merry makers again you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of samaria the planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit for there shall be a day when washmen will call in the hill country of ephraim arise and let us go up to zion to the lord our god for thus says the lord sing aloud with gladness for jacob and raise shouts for the chief of the nations proclaim give praise and say o lord save your people the remnant of israel the word of the lord responsorial psalm the lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock hear the word of the lord o nations and declare it in the coastlands far away say he who scattered israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock for the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him they shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord the Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock then shall the young women rejoice in the dance and the young men and the old shall be merry i will turn their mourning into joy I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen among us and God has visited his people. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 15 verses 21 to 28. At that time Jesus went away and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon and behold a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying have mercy on me o lord son of david my daughter is severely oppressed by a demon but he did not answer her a word and his disciples came and begged him saying send her away for she is crying out after us he answered i was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of israel but she came and knelt before him saying lord help me and he answered it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs she said yes lord yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table then jesus answered her o woman great is your faith be it done for you as you desire and her daughter was healed instantly The Gospel of the Lord Have you ever felt like an outsider someone who does not belong or is not worthy of receiving help 
In today's gospel we encounter a remarkable story of faith and persistence in the face of adversity. We meet a woman who despite numerous barriers expresses her unwavering faith in Jesus. Jesus travels to the region of Tyre and Sidon, a predominantly gentile area. There, a Canaanite woman, a gentile and a mother of a demon-possessed daughter approaches him. In the Jewish context, she is considered an outsider, unworthy of the Messiah's attention. She calls him Lord, son of David, acknowledging his divine authority and messianic title. Despite Jesus' initial response, which seems to ignore and then reject her, she persists. Demonstrating humility and great faith, she says, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Moved by her faith, Jesus grants her request, and her daughter is healed. In the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah, God reassures the exiled Israelites of his unwavering faithfulness. He promises to bring them back to their land where they will once again prosper. This passage highlights God's commitment to his people regardless of their current situation or past failures. Many people today feel excluded or marginalized whether due to their social status, ethnicity or personal struggles. Like the Canaanite woman, people often face situations where they feel ignored or rejected. even when they turn to god her story teaches us to persist in our faith even when it seems like god is silent or distant our persistence is a testament to our trust in his ultimate goodness just as god remained faithful to the israelites he remains faithful to us our faith is rooted in his unchanging nature and promises as followers of christ We are called to break down barriers of exclusion and extend God's love and mercy to everyone, especially those who feel like outsiders. Take time to reflect on moments when you feel excluded and how God's faithfulness saw you through. Share your reflections and experience with others to encourage them in their faith journey. Actively seek out those who feel marginalized in your community and offer them support, love, and the assurance of God's faithfulness. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your unwavering faithfulness and love. Help us to persist in our faith like the Canaanite woman, trusting in your goodness even in times of silence or rejection. Empower us to be instruments of your mercy and hope to those who feel excluded. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace be with you.